Hello my loves, welcome to another video. Today I have got some hands to work on. These hands are my mother's. She, for those of you who are new to the channel, my mother is um, almost completely blind. Well, she kind of really is. Um, and she anxiety picks at her fingers. And yes, she has pulled her actual nail away and damaged the nails. They don't grow properly. However, once she has uh, the nails I'm going to make on top she will not touch her nails anymore and she feels better psychologically so this is about care and dealing with really tricky nails it's quite educational actually and I'm not as silly so yeah sit back and relax so I, as you notice I have not pushed the cuticles back yet what I've done is taken this fine bit it's very soft and gentle but just abrasive enough to release because my mum's cuticles grow very, very thick and sticky and they will not push back easily. And she, unfortunately, the skin um, on the fingers sort of leading up to the cuticle proximal nail fold area is very thin like paper because of medication that she takes for her condition. So if I was just to go all ham and start pushing them back in the state they're in now, it would be uncomfortable. And this is something we've discovered over time of me doing her nails. So once I've released, you see they push back nicely. Her thumbs are great, she doesn't touch them. She uses them to pick. They are the culprits. But what I've found is using that fine bit to release, you see how thin that skin is? You have to be so careful. They push back a little bit easier and it makes the rest of the job more comfortable for my mum and easier for me because they are incredibly latched onto that nail plate. Some people's cuticles come back really easily, but it's just, if you can release just the edge of the cuticle, look, they'll go back so much more comfortably. And it's just a nicer experience um, for the client. So what the plan is today is to use a poly gel to actually free, I call it free sculpting, um, making the nail, you know, like if people have missing toenails and they have ones put on, this is what we're doing. We're doing the same thing. So now I'm using more of a flame shaped abrasive bit and I'm starting to release more of that tissue. Um, some of the dry tissue will just flake off. This is the index fingers are always the hardest to work on because the buildup is thick. It's too much and a lot of it is living tissue. So we have to be very, very careful with what we remove because she will just bleed. Um, so the temptation would be to over remove and to go full hell for leather cutting but um that won't help her in the long run because the the way some people are and a lot of people are the same especially my mum it will build up thicker so what we need to do is is remove what's hanging remove what's in the way remove what's attached to the nail plate itself and then moisturize and treat the rest so that it softens over time with regular treatment it will it's just that i haven't touched her hands for what two years so um although there were times when we were open and she could have come and had them done uh she's high risk and so is my dad and we just didn't want to risk it so yeah now she's vaccinated we're vaccinated. Well, I've had my first. Andrew's had his second. My mum and my mum and dad have had their second. It's it's um, yeah, it's safe now. We feel safer doing it. So I'm not using this on a high abrasion, but this is great on these fingers where it's very callousy and bumpy. And even if they're not removing the base of it, they're just taking down a lot of the external lumpy, bumpy nastiness. And you know, gradually it will go down, and you'll see. In the past, her nails have been just like this and I managed to get them to grow naturally and she had natural long almond nails. So we will get there. And you can follow me on my little treatment uh, journey with her. So yes, I'm nipping, but I'm nipping literally the biggest hangy bits and not everything. Not kind of going up in there and literally straight up into that proximal nail fold. My it For somebody like like my mum I mean technically you know we shouldn't really remove that anyway but <clears throat> for my mum especially 
her her health is not good so she's vulnerable anyway and she'd be prone to infections because of the way she picks the skin is very very delicate so i literally just get rid of the bits that really are hanging and will be in the way like this bit here you can't see it from this camera angle but it was like this big flap um so i've just taken the highest bit off and left the rest because once it's oiled it will settle back down and you know it will soften up so once that's done, obviously I don't need to file the free edge of these nails because there isn't one apart from the thumbs. I'm just using a 180 grit file and I'm not applying pressure. This is sped up, um, but I'm still being very gentle and I'm just taking enough on there just to buff off the shine. The nails are already thin, they're already damaged. We don't wanna make anything any thinner or any more damaged than it has to be. Sorry, by the way, if I sound a bit under the weather, I am still recovering from tonsillitis and um, the dreaded glue reaction because my husband is working on a project. He borrowed my glue. I walked in the room, bang, off go the sinuses. So I was taking extra care with these nails. These thumbnails, you see, because they've been left alone, they grow really, really strong. Um, they do have some indicators on them, the ridges and things like that. Some people have them, but the thumbnails are very, very strong considering the amount of medication my mum takes. Um, oh, Gerald's out. Gerald is my, well, you know, he's my best friend. He's been with me for a long time. He's the softest, most gentlest brush and he just feels so lovely. I could have gone in with my hard bristled brush, but I think it was a Gerald moment. So um, I'm going to use my hard bristle brush with isopropyl alcohol and scrub. This dehydrates, removes any stubborn dust particles and, you know, any bacteria or anything. And then I'm going in with the Young Nails Protein Bond because it's gentle. It's not an acid primer. It's gentle and it works really, really well. It's kind of like a universal bonding agent. It, it works with anything. Now we will probably end up redoing these nails within 10 days because there's not an awful lot on the index finger for them to grab onto. They might last. Um, she did say, that's it, I'm not doing anything now. I'm not even making the beds, she said. <laughs> I doubt that for a minute, she has proper OCD. So I've never known a thing to be out of place at my mum's, which freaks my dad out. Right, so, pro look at that juicy thumb, beautiful. I have also noticed whilst doing her nails, and this is why, right, as nail techs we study, I'll just let you know what I'm doing here, I'm putting base coat on. This is why, even though you are really, really good at nails and maybe not qualified, I would recommend doing a course, because while I was treating my mum's nails, I looked at her thumb, I said, oh, you didn't tell me you've got arthritis. She said, well, your dad said it's probably not. I said, no, mum, you've got, the symptoms, she's got nodules on the thumb, the range of movement is restricted, it's quite large compared to the other thumb. Um, so she's gonna to go to the doctors and get that checked. It's our job sometimes to notice things that clients maybe have pushed aside, like certain markings on the nail that can be indicators of serious health conditions. That's why we study, that's why we train. It's not necessarily saying that training is gonna make you instantly the best nail tech, but what doing a beginner's course does is give you the knowledge to then be safe in your practice. Then you start growing your skill set. And this was the misunderstanding I had when I trained because I came out and I, well, to be honest, it was all so, so fast, it was a blur, which is why I've done my beginner's courses differently. So we've applied the base coat and cured it. I'm going in with Madame Glam's poly gel. And I think this is like blush pink or rose pink. Um, it's really clear with a pinky tone to it. I wasn't too worried about having a colour because we're going to put a colour gel on top. But I trust Madame Glam Poly Gel. I've used it many times on my mum in the past. It works wonders. It holds. It holds well. And it's easy to use. So I'm just occasionally popping my brush into a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. And we're, we're free sculpting here. I'm moulding this product nice and gently. You'll see my brush movements are small and gentle. And then I'm gonna go under the product and make sure it's not sticking to the skin. We need a barrier. There has to be some level of protection. Obviously, we don't wanna cause any allergies. So, have to be careful with that. 
Um, yes, back to train. This is a great time for me to kind of educate a little bit. The importance of training is is the anatomy and physiology, the health and safety. Um, it's it's really important, and uh, for times like this, and I've I've seen cases of of thanks to nail techs, clients receiving early diagnosis of things like cancer that would have gone amiss and could have potentially been a very different outcome. So even if you're really good at what you're doing and you don't need a qualification, study, self-study then, just learn. Because honestly, it's invaluable when you're touching people's hands and coming close to them, um, you notice things. Like I've noticed the change in my mum's thumb. You just notice it. So I'm going from hand to hand because um, I'm popping these in the lamp to cure and it's just quicker really to go from hand to hand. And as you can see, both index fingers are equally as uh, picked and damaged. It's unfortunate, but it will get better. We will work on it now, provided we don't get locked up again. <coughs> um, yeah. And I'm just gently patting and pulling, patting and pulling. And if it starts to get a bit sticky, use a little bit more isopropyl alcohol. And pat and pull, pat and pull. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for the products used. Uh, I have a discount code, but it's not, I don't make commission from it, but it is 30% discount. So it's well worth using. You can't argue at that. I'll also leave a link to my website and there is a new tab if you go and check out my website i've changed it a little bit we've had a bit of jiggery pokery so if you go onto the home page on my website there is now a piece about the new hard gel training so i decided um because we've everyone's had a crap couple of years and it's not really completely gone away has it let's be honest there are lots of people out of work looking to retrain so i've taken the price of the beginners training um and i've basically slashed it in uh, less than half more than half i mean it was 195 pounds you can now do the course for 85 pounds plus tax so it comes in at about 100 pounds all in all and the course is still the same it's equally as fantastic equally as packed of information and you can do it in your own time but i'm there to help as well so if you are interested and you have been holding out because you know these things are expensive then do have a look because i would rather you i felt that with the financial situation the way it is we risked an influx of people that were capable of doing nails but then didn't have the training um in the relevant areas and it could be detrimental to their health and the health of their clients because it could cause allergies for you and your clients so i will make the proper information and proper training more available that was my solution so yeah that's what we've done as you can see this nail is pretty damaged as well so we need to make sure that we're being really careful to raise that off of the skin whilst making it still look i mean we're going to file it afterwards but we don't want to have to file too much it's kind of you don't want it to ski jump up but you don't want it to curve down and stick to the skin either now this bead i think was too big so i had to take some off um if this is the one i know there was one i was like whoa that's massive might not be this one might be the other one in a minute that's the beauty of poly gel, isn't it? It's It doesn't set until you cure it. So you can move it, change it. It is a very versatile product. I do like it. Oh, I'll just report back on the poly gels na nails that I did on myself with the dual forms. I actually, I found a downside to the dual forms and that is that um, I couldn't judge the thickness of the stress points so some were thicker than others or one side would be thick and one side would be thin and consequently i actually had a stress fracture across the thumbnail and uh the nail came off i didn't even feel it come off now since removing the poly gel for the first time my natural nails just feel really thin 
and I don't overfile, but all I can think of is that I've probably been doing one or two too many demonstrations. So I won't be putting nails on myself at least for the next month. I won't be putting extreme nails on my left hand. Um, I've put some uh, builder gel on them just to help them grow. And I'm going to let them grow out and just protect them a little bit because they just feel a bit unhealthy. I've still got my other hand that I can do, but I generally grow my natural nails on that hand and I shall be using my practice nails. Um, but I could do with recommendations for a practice hand because the one I've got is really, really awkward and heavy to use and you have to file off and soak off the nails. And listen, I've got really bad problems with my thumb again. I can't be doing that. I'm in agony, I've got to go back and have steroid injections, so I need something simple. I'm thinking of getting the Flexi Hand, actually, from Glitter Planet. So if any of you have got the Flexi Hand, can you let me know? Because I've got the original Flexi Fingers, and I'd really like to know how you feel about it, and does it photograph well? Okay, so, sorry I've babbled on, but I feel like I'm catching up with you. <laughs> um, as you can see, we're just removing the inhibition layer now, which is a sticky layer. Then I'm going to file. I'm going to do the free edge first and start shaping that up. Normally, if I was doing extensions, it would be side wall, side wall, free edge, but there's really not much there, is there? So I'm then going to take my file over the top of the nail. And you can see any uneven surface will get evened out. So, I mean, poly gel is really, really easy to and soft to file. It's it's a pleasurable medium to work with, shall we say. And I'd love to actually do more with it. I think I'll end up working more with hard gel in general because I do really enjoy it as a product. I like acrylic and, and predominantly for years I, did I worked with acrylic, but the more sensitive my body's become, the more I struggle with things like fumes and things like that. And I've seen other people as well. I saw a lady the other day, I don't know who it was, um, saying on Facebook that, oh, Gerald's Outlook, tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> oh, you've got to love a Gerald. Um, I saw a lady the other day saying that she'd been working with acrylic for over 20 years and it had damaged her old factory responses, which is the your sense of smell, basically. Um, which I found quite concerning. Maybe um, we should have better ventilation systems. I don't know. Um, I always use my Valentino dust collector, but since they stopped selling products in the UK, I can't get replacement filters, so I'm having to clean my filters, the one, well, the one filter I've got, and reuse it. So I might have to invest in a different dust collector as well, but I don't have clients, so it's like, uh, you know, I predominantly do tutorials and teaching, and obviously I have the brand now, so it's, it's difficult. I don't know what to do. Tickle, tickle with Gerald. Now I know these nails aren't super long or super glamorous, but they serve a real purpose and beauty comes in many forms and my mum feels beautiful now. So these are filed. I'm going to apply a base coat because I want the gel polish to go on nice and smooth. I'm just going to wipe off little bits of dust. There's little bits of dust on my gloves as well. I should have switched my gloves out and I forgot because we were jabbering away. Right, this is Raspberry Explosion from Madame Glam. She loves things like this because she'll see that pop of colour. So she can see like, if there's a sudden blob of colour, she can see a blob of colour, but she wouldn't eat fruit. She wouldn't see the nail it's on, but she would see the blob of colour. Same as if I was wearing a purple jumper, she would see a blob of purple. She would not see my face, my hair, you know, my size. So it, it's really, really limited vision.
the amount of times when I was at school that I got mouldy bread in my lunch boxes, I kid you not, because she couldn't see it. So, <laughs> oh, the memories of the mouldy sandwiches. So, you've probably noticed I don't go all the way up to the cuticle with the big brush. I'm going to use the detailer brush to tuck it in. It is so much easier doing it this way. So much easier. You've got less product to control and you've got a more detailed brush to tuck it in with. Look at that, so much easier. So that is a top tip there. And also make sure you cap that free edge as well. Look, beautiful nail now. She feels like a million dollars now these are done. Oh look, you see all that dry skin? That skin will be okay. Um, we will cover it in high quality cuticle oil, so don't worry, it will be all right. Um, but yeah, just see what I mean? Just bring that gel just near the cuticle, but don't touch it with it. There are a couple of times, because she is a fidget, this woman struggles to stay still, and there are a couple of times she had a jiggle, and then I ended up slipping with the brush, and it would like, go too close to the cuticle or a bit on the side and it's because of the colour it was really hard to get off that was highly annoying now Madame Glam gel polishes are a 30 second cure oh that was my coffee cup I apologise try and do something quietly and I'm like twice as loud so same as before using that brush to tuck it in um, because it's my mum and I can do her nails as often as I want, I don't really worry too much about going right up under that cuticle area. At the moment, she has had so much damage, we just want them to look presentable. We will work on the perfection part later. But for now, we just want presentable. And I think we got it. I mean... At the end, what I'll do is show you like straight before and after because I think it's nice to revisit that what we were faced with at the beginning um, and I think when you have a client that comes in with something like this although this is quite rare I've only ever had my mum with it this bad nail biters are different um, you have to be realistic in and explain to them why they can only have what they can have um, it's important you're kind of giving them therapy to be able to grow their nails it's assisting them so being realistic is part of it they need to know there's no way I could have stuck massive extensions on these there was nothing to sculpt on and there was no tip there was no area to put a tip I mean so you know you work with what you've got right so quick second layer I don't need to be so um, bringing it up around the cuticle we've already got that coverage done so it's a bit it's a bit like I've created my guideline now I just color inside the lines Falling down 
and I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So now we're going in with Madame Glam's top coat. That's a tack free top coat, 30 second cure, and it's super, super glossy. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Next, I'm going to be using this highly luxurious uh, cuticle oil. It's Madame Glam Elixir Cuticle Oil. I got this in my advent calendar from them, and it, this is so luxurious. It doesn't really have much of a smell. It's just highly um, packed with nutritional oils, and yeah, it's beautiful. I'll massage that in. So let's look. This is before. Remember what we were dealing with. It wasn't easy. It was a bit of a task. And this is after. I really hope you've liked this video. Thanks for listening to me babble on. And I'll uh, see you in my next one. Tally bye.